Hi, my name is Clemens Vasters. I'm from the Microsoft Azure team. I'm an architect there, and uh, I'd like to introduce you the, to the uh, new capability that we have in the system called Event Hubs. And Event Hubs is uh, built for a number of scenarios which are have particular set of very similar challenges across a number of um, different industries, um, ranging from uh, automotive to industrial automation, um, healthcare. Um, energy, natural resource exploration, um, utilities, traffic management, transport management, logistics, um, television and uh, console games. And all of those uh, scenarios that we're seeing from the customer landscape is uh, that they are building very new sophisticated systems that are, live from machine learning, that live from correlating a lot of data and they want to go and correlate the data not only you know from a, a big data lake where the data sits at rest but they really want to go and take fresh data that comes out of physical space that comes out of um, the existing experiences and they want to go and process that data very very fast for all those cases um, imagine for instance as one example a television show where you have a audience participation and you have five million people are watching the show and now everybody's called to vote for who the winner of a particular context should be and so within you know, a few seconds everybody's pushing the button on their mobile device or on their on the website and all those votes should be tallied up in a very very short time um, that is a formidable distributed systems challenge to actually take requests, 5 million requests within a short period of time. And similarly, it's a challenge to take a continuous event stream, floating car data um, from vehicles that are in the streets in Europe or the US East Coast or the main population centers in Asia during rush hour, during a very narrow time window of, a window of uh, maybe an hour where millions and millions of vehicles made by the same kind of car manufacturer are on the street and uh, all the data that comes in needs to be processed in real time because there might be alerts or there's traffic information that needs to be ingested. And uh, today, many of those systems work at the scale of tens of thousands of vehicles, but uh, certainly the interest by the industry is to make them work at the scale of tens of millions of vehicles. And for that, we need to have new infrastructure. And Event Hubs is part of the infrastructure that we're, we're at Microsoft building for this. Event Hub, per se, you can very easily make yourself one. Uh, you can go to the Azure portal and you can create yourself an event hub. The event hub is a partitioned entity inside of, um, inside of Service Bus. So you go to Service Bus to go and create yourself one. And uh, the partitions are to create parallelism, to allow more efficient parallel processing of uh, the data, uh, both for parallel ingest and also for parallel consumption into your backend infrastructure. Um, you can have up to 32 partitions in self-service and uh, the throughput through the system is governed by what we call throughput units and you can have in self-service up to 20 throughput units each throughput unit representing up to one megabytes of, th of ingest throughput per second and uh, two megabytes of uh, read throughput as you are consuming events of that event hub and associated with that is an allocation of 84 gigabytes of storage per day um, that you can go and store and uh, so you can go and allocate 20 of these throughput units representing 20 megabytes per second of ingest throughput and if that's not enough or if the 32 partitions are not enough for your throughput um, then you can go and contact Azure support and we can go and make you a thing that's much much bigger uh, we can give you uh, more than a thousand partitions and uh, and we can also give you more than a thousand throughput units representing an allocation of over one gigabyte per second throughput in jest and we can also accommodate many hundred thousand of sort of event sources concurrent event sources that are concurrently connected into the system so if you actually need to go and connect a fleet of vehicles if you actually need to go and connect a uh, very large number of, uh, of smart products that you are shipping out to customers um, or if you are selling a game title that sells uh, millions of, uh, of copies um, or if you're running a TV show as a production company then you can come to us and we can also go and accommodate the scale that you need. Um, on the, the um, send side, Event Hubs are uh, taking messages over two protocols. One is HTTPS, um, which you can go and target from any device that knows HTTPS. You so you're submitting the events in a very simple format. 
um, in effectively key value pairs. And a more efficient protocol, higher throughput um, for more sustained loads, you can use the ISO standard AMQP 1.0 protocol, which is also the protocol that we use um, for ingesting, for consuming from um, Event Hub. And the way that works is we accommodate a number of strategies for how to go and scale out the consumers uh, across the farm to ensure high parallelism because for ingesting more than a gigabyte per second you obviously need to spread the load across a number of machines and actually go and pull this back into anal analytic systems. So to accommodate this we accommodate a number of strategies for um, leader election and for a distribution of that work. Um, across the fabric. The MQP protocol is used uh, for um, that processing which can be then used uh, across a number of operating systems, a number of runtimes, um, a number of programming languages um, either from .NET where we have our immediate client or also and we have samples for this through let's say in Java JMS or using the um, Apache Cupid Proton libraries which implement AMQP 1.0 in C and there's a number of language bindings that sit on top of this and we're accommodating all those things cross-platform um, in the Azure Event Hub. So we believe that we have a very very interesting um, infrastructure here for you. It's very easy to uh, use and there's effectively no management that you need to do by yourself. We're doing all that management for you and we want to be the front door for your high scale ingest problems. We want to go and solve all those hard distributed systems problems for you um, so that you can go and focus on the back end solutions. And we're going to complement that offer with um, a number of analytics capabilities that will be attaching effectively directly to the back of event hubs um, um, into our data platform. So much for a quick introduction, quick overview of what event hubs are. And uh, so I'd like to uh, invite you to go and uh, take a look at this site, at the R R event hub site, and start uh, playing with it, exploring it, and uh, trying it out for your scenarios. Thank you for listening.